Hey guys, it's that time again. Atom number nine and ten. Let's get straight into it. These ones look like they got some. Maybe it's got a small magazine. Nothing really substantial on these ones, but we'll rip these open uh, in order, and we will see what we've got. So let's pull this one open, number nine. What have we got in here? It looks like it might be a survey for the hand, the one we made last time. So we've got a little bit of a uh, magazine going on, pretty thin one. Ah, look at this. You may uh, have seen this. This is a picture of the Kuratas, or Kuratas, Kuratas I think it's pronounced. Sudobashi Heavy Industry. Check it out on YouTube. It's like a, uh, it's a mecha. It, it doesn't walk, it's on wheels, but it can elevate and go up and down like its, it's legs come in and out. And it's got like a minigun, it's all kind of, uh, what do you call it, the, the nerf guns and stuff, but it's got facial recognition inside, so you, to fire the gun you've got to smile and it will fire the nerf bullets and stuff. There I'm going to be doing a, uh, a battle with an American uh, group that do the, uh, that make one of these. So I'm thinking they're going to upgrade the weapons a bit and they're going to have a bit of a battle. That's apparently coming up in the next couple of years. But yeah, it's not a bad, uh, bad robot, I kind of would like to make one myself, but it's kind of large, so yeah pretty cool. So let's keep going through this uh, this book and see what we got. So there's a few bits and pieces here. I can't read most of this stuff but let's keep going. Question and answers about Atom. Um, yep, let's keep going. Okay, this is the instructions what we're going to do. So we're going to use the board to program the uh, hand controller, or the hand uh, servo, sorry, and uh, put that into the hand, it looks like. I believe that's the, uh, yeah, the, the right hand and uh, forearm. So let's get right into it and uh, get this thing done. So we've got a nice stack of cardboard here with one little servo, and that's all we've got for this one. We've got all our stuff here. So let's dig this out. What have we got? Okay, so we've got a wire here. And the servo itself. And I should have, oh yep, there's the little servo horn. And we have to, like usual, line up the line with the dot. There's a little dot on there. You might be able to, there you go, you can see that little dot. And then there's a little notch in the horn. We've got to line those up so it's all centered and square. Push that on there. No worries. And we want some screws. So I believe it's probably that one. That's looking pretty good. All right, now we want to put the, uh, the cable in that way, just like that. All righty, now we want to be uh, programming this thing up. So, let's set this to six. Just there. That one should be on zero, I believe. All right, we'll plug this one in. Turn it on. Hit the button. There we go. Set the limits. Might be able to see that rotating. It's got to wait for it to go the full back and forth. That way it knows how far it's able to turn it. Kind of self measures its, its own uh, internal limits. 
and once it's done that then it's uh it's all programmed up as uh, servo number six then we're done all right so that's uh programmed so we'll pull that out and i should have stickers somewhere with the numbers there we go so we want number six Da, 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 da. six okay that's programmed now we want to put it in our arm And I think we're using these little screws. Let's see how they work. Yep. There we go. One forearm completed. All right, let's open the next one. I'm not even sure what it's going to be. Oh, it looks like, oh, I wonder, maybe a bit of the shoulder or something. Link. Let's have a look. Here it is. few screws and a few bits and pieces. Looks like a nylon bush there. And the magazine. Palro. Japan loves doing this. They get uh, English words and mash them together. So that's Pal Robot or yeah, friend robot. Palro. They do that all the time. So you go to a convenience store, they call it Konbini rather than a, than a convenience store. So this is the, uh, the latest robot they're showcasing. It looks very similar to the, uh, to the Atom setup we're making, so it may be based on this design or something. Atom's girlfriend. And here we are. So let's make this bit. So we need this one and this one. This may actually be the elbow or something. I'm not sure. That wants to go. Hang on. Gotta get this the right way around. So we go that way and then that way, like that. And two screws. What have we got in here? There's a whole bunch of screws. Ah, lost my place. That's the way. Ah, yeah, it's the elbow. I can see it on this side here. I'm going to put it onto the uh, the arm we just made. All right, so.
I'm going to find the mark. Oh, there's a flat. Oh, yeah, the flat side's got to be up. There's a little tiny flat on that, and that, that is in the correct position it's saying here. And you can turn it with a screwdriver if you need to rotate it. All right, so let's have a look. We want that way and that way. There we go. And then the four screws go in. Last bit is this little nylon bush, and that goes here. Just a it'll just be like a kind of like a bearing, you know, like a stop it from rubbing away. And that's what we got for this one this week. Cool. All right, guys. That's all we got. What have we got next week? Looks like we're going to have another another servo. So we might continue up the arm. We've got another, you can see there, another servo is going to go on here. So we'll probably continue up here. Or maybe start on the other the other hand, the other forearm. Don't know yet. All right, hang around. We'll, we'll find that out soon. All right, guys, hope you enjoy that. Uh, don't forget, we've got the Patreon. And uh, keep watching the videos. We'll see you next time.